Hello, I'm Carmine Rose and welcome to a Nerdy Yeti YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a uh, flow to help us stretch our hips. So we keep a lot of tension, a lot of tightness in our hips. Um, it's said that we keep a lot of our emotion there as well. So this should be a fun flow, stretching all of that out. We're just going to start though in a comfortable seat, get our breath activated. We really want to use our mula bandha breath while we're doing our stretches. That'll help us deepen the poses um, as well as get a little heat going through our deep core line. So, Come to a comfortable seated position and inhale, let your low belly and pelvic floor expand. Warm everything open and exhale, squeeze everything in and out, lifting out from the base of your belly, exhaling through your nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale last time in the seated position. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Now keeping that breath going through the whole flow, of course, um, at your own pace there. We will start here coming onto strong fingertips. So really grounded to the earth with your pads and your fingertips. Come onto your palms, light on your heels, strong grip onto the earth and press yourself back into a down dog position. And start by pedaling your feet Bending one knee and then the other, warming up the backs of your legs. And wave a tiny wave through your spine, lengthening your head towards the floor, creating space in your shoulders. And exhale, letting your feet uh, make their way towards the earth. We're not super warm here, so you don't have to worry about pressing your feet all the way down. Just kind of gently letting gravity pull your heels closer to your mat. And we'll do a little bit of a warm up with some dog to plank waves. So bending your knees and elbows here, wave forward, bending your elbows, exhale, wave back. Bending here, waving forward. Tiny bend in your elbows as you wave yourself back to down dog. Bend your knees and elbows, wave yourself forward. This time, come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale through, prepare, roll yourself in and up. And exhale back to down dog. Very nice, just getting our energy moving and flowing a little bit. From here, you're gonna bend your knees and elbows, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee in to your chest for core plank, really lift in and up, up, up and step your right foot to meet your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. You're gonna plant your left hand beneath your left shoulder and right arm's gonna extend towards the sky. Right knee is still bent here. And we'll do some circle um, with our arms and legs. So circle your arm back behind you, bending your knees closer to the earth. And as you inhale, extending your arm and come to that first edge of stretch on the right leg. Exhale, circling down, bending everything again. And coming into your pose extension, finding that first edge of stretch with the right leg. And one last time, circling down. And come up to uh, your stretch. Awesome, from here you can bring your right fingertips down to meet the earth. We're gonna face our right leg now. You can drop your left heel forward towards the ground to get a bit of a deeper stretch. Inhale, long spine, and exhale. Again, just finding that first edge of stretch, folding over the right leg. One last time here. You can get little waves in the spine, that feels nice. Bending your right knee again. Now this time, planting your right hand on the inside of your right foot underneath your shoulder. You're gonna ground your back foot like a warrior. You can even come onto your fingertips for this. Left arm's gonna reach up to the sky. This time we'll do that circling movement again. So bending everything towards the earth and extending. Bend everything towards the earth, bending both knees, rebuilding the pose. And last time here, circling down, really building your pose from the ground up with this. Very 
nice hold the stretch for another breath. Awesome, circling down, coming off that back heel, planting your hands really firmly into the earth, stepping back, lowering through your chaturanga. Inhale here, waving in and up, and exhale, coming back. Very nice. Pedaling out your feet again. And from here, we're going to take that sequence on the other side. So bending your knees and elbows a little bit to lift your left leg to the sky. And you want to deep bend here as you bring your left knee to your chest or your core plank. Stepping the left foot to meet the left thumb. Right hand is planted on the earth. Left arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, circling down. So this is a great warm up for the legs, just starting to get into the stretch. So that when we stretch our hips a little deeper here in a moment, we're a little more prepared. All right, holding this extension for just another moment. And bringing the left hand to the earth, folding over your left leg. Again, you can sink your right heel towards the floor if you want to get a bit of a deeper stretch. Waving your spine can feel nice in these poses. Help you lengthen your stretch without going too far too fast. And bending that left knee again. Now this time, left hand plants on the inside of your left foot rounding your right foot towards the earth. Right arm extends. You can come onto your fingertips. You can even come up onto your leg if the floor is too deep for you. Or grab a block. Bring, bring the ground up to you. Why not? And from here, exhale, circling down, really grounding into the earth. Stack your hips. Extend your spine. Exhale. Leg extension comes last in these poses. That's why we circle it down, get close to the earth, rebuild the pose, and find our edge of stretch. Holding this for one more moment. And making your way back forward, bending the knee, stepping back into your plank. Come onto your knee lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, prepare here, rolling in and up to your cobra and back to down dog. Very nice. A little bit of stretching, your legs should feel a bit more open already. From here, we're gonna inhale the right leg to the sky again. This time, open your hips to the right and let your foot fall behind you. Starting to get into the front of our hips with this, our hip flexors, even getting into our psoas. From here, square your hips back to the floor. You're gonna lift that knee in an upper core plank, but this time, place your knee behind your right wrist. So we'll come into a pigeon. Let's get a comfortable position. Level your hips. Make sure that your left leg is extending back long behind you, not winging out one way or the other. We're just gonna inhale here. And exhale, wave a little bit forward. Don't come all the way down, just come to kind of that first moment where you feel the stretch in your hips and we're going to mix it up a little bit today we'll do a moonwalked pigeon first so walking yourself towards your left or your right foot rather you're walking towards the left so you're kind of in this side bend um, it's a moon shaped so moonwalk makes sense and you can come closer to the earth closer to your foot but you're facing the floor with your upper body Stretching up the right side body there. Getting into our hips in a bit more unique position. And then stay low, so wherever you are, and walk yourself back forward over your pigeon leg. And you can come up a little bit higher if that's too low for you. Wave the spine long again, make your way to wherever you need to be. 
Um, again, you can use blocks to help raise the floor to you if that is easier. Nice fold, adding into your hip stretch. One more breath here, walking yourself back up. Long spine again, getting back into our hip flexors. Now from here, plant your right hand in front of you. Lift your left leg up and see if you can catch your left foot with your left hand. Get a quick quad stretch. And try to keep your hips level while you're doing this. You don't want to roll to one side or the other while you're doing it. Or maybe your foot is back here. Wherever you feel the stretch is perfect. And gently release that, making your way back into your plank coming onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, rolling it and up, and down dog. We'll try that whole sequence again on our other side. You can notice even the slight difference between your right and left leg after that little sequence. So inhale, prepare, left leg lifts, open your hips to the side, left leg will, or left foot will drop behind you. Starting to open the front of your hips. Now squaring your hips back to the floor, lifting your knee into your chest or your core plank, and then placing left knee behind left wrist, scooting back, finding a comfortable pigeon pose. Inhale here, wave your spine tall. Exhale, fold over about halfway for you. Again, wherever you start to feel the stretch and pigeon and moonwalk yourself over to the right this time. So again, your chest is facing towards the floor. Hips are stubbornly grounded where they are though. So your hips are still level, grounded towards the earth. So it's kind of a twist and side bend combo. Nice stretch here, getting as low to the ground as is comfortable for you. One last breath here, and then from that low position, walking yourself back forward over your leg. And you can come back up higher if you need, wave your spine long, get that tall spine again. And you might have different flexibility on one side versus the other. Um, that's totally okay. So just work within the spectrum of this side. You know, and sometimes it even switches from day to day depending on how we were sitting, if we were driving, you know, all kinds of factors can play into if one side is tighter than the other. So just honor that as you fold over your left leg. Roll yourself back up. Inhale here, sitting up tall, getting into that right hip flexor again. And exhale, planting your left hand in front of you. Here, twist a little bit to the right, see if you can catch your right foot. Stretching out your quad. Again, making sure that your hips are staying facing the earth. Very nice, gently release that. Making your way back into your plank. Coming onto our knees, we'll go through this vinyasa one last time. In and up, and back to down dog. Awesome, and then let's, let's move the energy through the whole body with some more of those dog to plank waves. So slight bend in your knees and elbows, waving yourself forward. Tiny bend in your elbows as you exhale, wave yourself back. Bending your knees, wave yourself forward. Exhale, waving yourself back. And last time here, waving forward. This time, come onto your knees and 
Lower yourself all the way to the earth. Now from here, you can stay on your belly, do a belly shavasana. Why not? You don't always have to lie on your back. Sometimes it's comfortable to rest and let your hips sink into the earth. Let your belly sink into the earth. Feel that support. If you prefer, roll on your back, do a traditional shavasana. They're both great. <laughs> um, obviously, shavasana is an important pose, so whatever is more comfortable for you today, if you want to do it on your belly or your back, have fun. I hope that you enjoyed that stretch. Hope you loosened up some tightness in your hips. Um, definitely want to see you on the mat next week for whatever fun stretching flow we've got. And um, make sure that you're on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. I want to make sure you get all of the exclusive content that I have for you there. Namaste.